Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're talking about Lesson 53, Algebra 1, Saxon 3rd Edition, uh, the orange book. So uh, we're talking about power rule for exponents and conversion of volume. Uh, first, let's back up and talk about the product rule for exponents. If you recall, x squared times x to the third gives you x to the fifth because we have two x's here, three x's here, so two x's, three more x's gives us a total of five x's. So you see that uh, we are adding these to the uh, exponents even though we are multiplying the bases. Today we're going to talk about the power rule which is slightly different. It looks like this. x squared to the third power is x to the sixth. So in this case we're multiplying whereas here we are adding. See the difference? Why are we doing that? Well it's because we're doing x squared three times. So x squared times x squared times x squared. We have two x's, two more x's, and two more x's gives us a total of six x's. So that is why you end up multiplying these two things together. So let's go ahead and give that a practice. All right, here's our first example. We have this guy right here. And all we want to do is uh, distribute this 3 to all of our chunks in here. Now remember, for example, this x to the fifth is only to the x. That's the, That fifth only applies to the x. It does not apply to the 2. So if you have anything here that does not have an exponent, feel free to put a 1 here so that you remember, hey, I've got to distribute it to that 2 and to that x. Then I take this 3 and I distribute it to all four of those things in there. So I end up with 2 to the third, x to the fifth times 3 is 15, y2 times 3 is 6, and z to the third. And now the only thing I can do to simplify this is uh, 2 to the third, remember, is 8. So we can just cross that out, write an 8, and there you go. Let's look at example number 2 here. We have... Uh, Three, all this garbage here, right? All of it to the negative 2. Again, if you don't have an exponent, let's put a 1. So that's 3 to the 1 power. So if I distribute this out, we could say 3 to the negative 2. x to the negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. y5 times negative 2 is y to the negative 10. And then you also have to distribute downstairs. Don't forget that part. Now, you always want to read the instructions to, uh, especially in the Saxon book, to see what they say. If, there, if it says... If it doesn't say anything about the numerator or denominator, it is a good idea to never have a negative exponent. So I would shift everything around so that I don't have negative exponents. So let's do that from here, right? I'm going to leave the x to the fourth alone, and I'm going to, so we're going to go like this, right? x to the fourth stays upstairs. Now z to the eighth needs to be moved upstairs. And then 3, negative 2, and y, negative 10, those need to be moved downstairs. And remember, when I move it downstairs, then it changes that attitude. So now they're positive. So again, we want to simplify. 3 squared is just 9. So technically, your answer is this, z to the 8th over 9y to the 10th. Now, what if it says write all of your answers in the numerator? So if it says all of them in the numerator, you would move it upstairs. So numerator would look like this. It would have um, 9 to the negative 1, x to the 4, and then I like to put them in alphabetical order. So then y to the negative 10, because I'm moving that upstairs, and z to the 8th. Okay, so if it wants you to write them all in the numerator, that's what that would look like. Uh, I like to get it with no negative exponents and then uh, do whatever the instructions say from there. Okay, let's look at this one. Again, let's put a 1 with anything that does not have uh, an exponent. So if you take a look in here, let me zoom in a little more on that. So if we look at this guy, it's going to be now 3 to the negative 2, x to the negative 2, y to the fourth, because negative 2 times negative 2. And then distribute that downstairs, we get p to the negative 10. Okay, so let's flip it so we have no negative exponents. Uh, okay, we've got y to the fourth is going to stay upstairs and p to the tenth is going to come upstairs and then three squared x squared those two get moved down downstairs now i always put numbers first and i usually put it in alphabetical order but it may look different in the back of the book when you go to check your answers so you need to be able to figure out uh oh this is still correct it just looks slightly different right so like i said alphabetical order so i would say p 10 y 4 over uh, 9x squared. Now, if it asked for everything, let's say, in the denominator. Now, if it says in the denominator, what we would say there is denominator. It would look like this. 1 
over and we would have nine is gonna stay normal. Then P would be P to the negative 10, X two and y to the negative four because i'm moving that back downstairs if it said to do it in the denominator then that's what that would look like okay let's talk about converting volume converting volume so when we're converting area you remember we have to square everything when we're converting volume we have to cube it so i want to go from feet to inches right so here's what i do i say okay 800 or i'm sorry 180 feet over one i'm not going to worry about the cube quite yet times and since i'm getting rid of feet i'm going to put feet downstairs and inches upstairs now i need this guy to equal one because remember we're this is a unit um conversion so uh the and so unit means one in math that's what i was getting at with that okay so this is feet cubed so now i'm going to go ahead and put that in now uh let's put the numbers in here so one foot is 12 inches but because we are doing feet to the third we have to cube everything else just like that you can cube the one if you want but it leaves it as one so um if you had something other than one there you would uh, you'd want to do that so uh that gets rid of our let's take a look if we were to so that gets rid of feet cubed feet cubed downstairs we get one times one is one and that just goes away so that's fine and then upstairs we have 180 times 12 to the third power and you can put it inside or outside that's not going to matter and then the uh unit remaining is inches cubed now you can do the actual math on this if you'd like i prefer that you leave it in this form because that way i can see where your math was going let's try another one 800 centimeters two feet cubed Ooh, this is going to be a doozy 800 centimeters over one so let's ignore the cubes for a second and just do centimeters to feet right so we're going to go centimeters to inches and notice i put the centimeters downstairs because i'm going to be crossing those out and in one inch there are 2.54 centimeters so i can cancel these guys out now centimeters centimeters that leaves me with inches but i need to go to feet so i have to do another unit conversion with inches downstairs, I'm, or inches are upstairs here, so I'm gonna put them downstairs here, and feet. Now, that is one foot is 12 inches. Okay, so now I can cancel out my inches, and now I'm ready to do my cubes. So you cube everything, do not cube that 800, no, no, no. Just cube everything else, just like that. And now, let's look at what we've got. So, upstairs we have 800 uh, times one times one because one to the third power right is feet cubed and then downstairs we have 2.54 cubed times 12 cubed and like I said our our feet cubed are gonna be our uh, is gonna be our units and the way that this works is because if I have a box let's say this is my yard box right this is one cubic yard because remember we find volume by multiplying base times height times width right so area of the base times the height right if this is one yard by one yard by one yard that would make this one times one times one equals one yard cubed one yard cubed but remember feet there are three feet in a yard so if i were to break this guy up just like this that would be three feet oops three feet and three feet so now instead what i have is three times three times three feet cubed and three times three is nine times three is so 27 feet cubed so you can see in one yard there are 27 and that's just because we're taking that three so like one yard and if i want to convert it to feet i would put yard downstairs and feet up here and in one yard there are 12 feet but we have not 12 feet let's try that again there are three feet in one yard and but now we have to cube everything right so cube 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 get rid of our yards yards and you'll see that we're left with three one times three cubed and that's exactly what 27 is so that's how that works all right now on to the practice problems so pause or here are the practice problems for this one uh and then the practice problems for the volume so pause your video 
do those and then come on back. Okay. All right, friends. So here are your answers for those practice problems. A, B, and then C and D. If you did not get those correct answers, stick around and I will show you what to do. Okay, so let's look at A first. Looking at A, anything to the zero power is one and anything times one is one. So I'm gonna get rid of this guy and just say, get rid of it, you don't have to do it. You could do negative three times zero if you wanted to, but you're still gonna get zero. Uh, okay, and then I get Y and negative two times negative three is positive six. Z, uh, five times negative three is negative 15. And don't forget to distribute downstairs, we get X negative nine. Now it's asking for the variables in the numerator. I'm, so I'm glad I read the instructions on that. So I need to bring that X up. So what I end up with is X to the positive nine because I'm moving it upstairs. Y six Z negative 15. And that is this answer right here. So hopefully you got that. All right, let's look at this guy. This one looks like a doozy, right? Huge numbers or uh, not huge numbers, but lots of different numbers. So uh, X negative four. Y positive four. I'm just distributing this negative two to each of these. Don't forget that if it doesn't have an exponent, throw a one in there. So over three, two. Oh, whoops, that's negative two. M negative eight, K negative two times. And now if it doesn't have an exponent, let's throw a one there. Y negative four, M two, X to the sixth and K squared. Okay. Uh, on this one, there's a bunch of different ways to do exponents. So hopefully uh, you get the idea here. What I personally like to do is um, add up all my stuff in my numerator and then add up all my stuff downstairs in the denominator and then um, get rid of my negatives and then cancel things out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna combine like terms upstairs. Now four and negative four gives you zero and anything to the zero power is one. So kablam, those just go away. I'm left with x negative 4 m positive 2. Downstairs I have 3 negative 2. I gotta rewrite that because I don't want to lose that negative. Um, m negative 8. Uh, k2 k negative 2. Those ones are going to cancel out and then x 6 positive 6. Okay now like I said I want to get rid of my negatives so I'm going to switch everything around however you can do subtraction I just think a lot of kids make mistakes doing it that way so I prefer not to uh, okay so upstairs I'm going to keep that m2 but I'm also going to move that m8 and that 3 so 3 to the positive 2 goes upstairs now um, m8 and it's positive because I moved it upstairs so those go away and then m2 perfect now downstairs, I'm going to keep that X six and I'm going to move that X. So that goes away. X negative four is now X positive four because I moved that downstairs. So that gives me nine M to the 10. Remember, this is the product rule, not the power rule. So you add those and X 10 kablam. All right, let's see what else we got here. So let's talk about con uh, converting inches into uh, inches cubed into centimeters cubed. So we start with this 75 inches cubed over one times. And since it's upstairs here, I'm going to put it downstairs here and we're going to go to centimeters. And in one inch, there are 2.54 centimeters. So now I'm going to go through and cube everything except for my first number there. One times one is one and my inches canceled out. So I have nothing downstairs and upstairs I have 75 times 2.54 to the third power centimeters cubed, which looks just like what we got there. All right, let's do this one because we're going meters to inches. So we're gonna have to go meters to centimeters to inches in order to get this one. So 28 meters cubed over one. Meters are upstairs, so I'm gonna put them downstairs here and I'm gonna go to centimeters. One meter is 100 centimeters. Now, and that, so uh, then let's go centimeters. So since it's upstairs here, I'm gonna go downstairs and then inches. And in one inch, there are 2.54 centimeters. Okay, so now I'm ready to cube everything. I'll do it even in a different color so you can see. We're gonna cube everything that we filled in here. Cubed, cubed, and cube. Okay, so looking at these guys, my meters cubed goes gets canceled out and my centimeters cubed gets canceled out. So upstairs, what am I left with? 28 times 100 to the third power. Again, that can be on the inside or the outside of the parentheses, doesn't matter. 
over 2.54 to the, oh, see, I put it on the outside that time. I don't know why. Uh, either way is fine. 2.54 to the third power. And then the only unit remaining is inches cubed. So uh, yours should look like this. If it does not, hopefully you can figure out where it went wrong. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, great work, and we will see you next time.